Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Hey Mungo. Hey there, and today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a Minecraft server on your home network using the Java edition of the Minecraft server. All right, so this will allow you to uh, play using multiple machines. So each person could log on to a separate machine and log on with their own Minecraft account. And then they could join into the, your server and you can all play together in the same world. And so that's what this will do. Uh, it only does it within your home network, though. So it doesn't allow people to connect inside. And that would be a different video that I would do. This will basically show you how to set it up and you could actually make it so that people could come in from the inside. But I don't particularly recommend that because of security uh, problems that you could have doing that. But anyway, let's get down to it, shall we? All right, so I'm on Minecraft.net, and over in the upper right corner here, you'll see Menu, and we click on that, and over to the right here is a choice that says Trial and Download. And we're going to scroll down to the page, almost to the bottom, but not quite. And we'll see two different uh, servers here. One says the Java Edition server, which is to the left, and then there's a Download Minecraft server software. This one to the right here we're not going to talk about today, and it's harder to set up. It's actually newer, and so it's a little bit more quirky. This Java edition has been around for years and years and years and years. Uh, this other one's a newer one that just works on Windows. Actually, it also works on Linux, but it's a, it's a different server that they're working on. So let's go with the Java edition, shall we? We're going to click Get It Here. And uh, middle of the page down here, it says Download. It says Minecraft server dot one dot fourteen dot four dot jar. Uh, now, you would think, okay, that's going to be the name of the file, but it actually is not. For some reason, it just it will just say server dot jar. Uh, as these versions change, um, it used to be I would see the entire thing, the entire name downloaded as that. Uh, so. It may be a different name is all I'm saying. Let's click on the link at any rate, and it's going to uh, download it. And you'll see down here in the lower left corner, it says server.jar. It might actually say the version. Uh, it used to say the version. No longer. Not sure why. Uh, so let's just uh, let's go with this. And uh, we're going to go click here and go uh, show in folder. And it's going to open up the downloads folder right here. And you'll see the... The file right here. Now, this whole thing is pretty simple. We're going to just copy this. We're going to need to make a folder to put it in. And so I'm going to go to uh, this PC and I'm going to go to the C drive. You can put the folder wherever you want to. Uh, and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it uh, Minecraft Server. Uh, one word there. Uh, you can name this whatever you want to as long as you can remember what it is. We're going to paste it in there. All right, now we're going to just start this up. We're going to run it. And uh, so you'll see it created some stuff. It actually stopped because we need to uh, we need to sign the license or we need to accept the license. The, the EULA, E-U-L-A. So we're going to open up this text uh, to edit it in Notepad. And uh, right here it says EULA equals false. All we have to do is change this false to the word true. And we're going to uh, then save this. Now, when we start this up again by clicking the uh, server.jar file, it will take a minute. It should generate a few more folders. Now, this, this thing pops up here. This is from the firewall. You want to click here to allow access. If you don't do that, uh, you won't be able to connect from other computers. And so uh, then what it's done here is it's started up the server here. You can see it's uh, you know setting everything up here. This is kind of the log right here. Uh, right here... Uh, if you go down here, you can type commands in here. So if we type the word help, it actually gives us a list of commands. 
uh, what we want to do, I'm going to scroll up here, see if it has it. There's a command called OP, which is operator. And you want to take whatever your account is, and you want to uh, make it an operator. So I'm going to go with my account here. All right, so it says right here, let's, let's expand this window here a little bit. It said uh, made Mongo Dark Matter a server operator. The reason you want to do that is because when you're server operator, you can run other commands on this and adjust your world however you want it to be. All right, so we actually have the server running now. Now, if we want to uh, connect to it and test it out, let me go here to uh, my uh, Minecraft and start it up here. I this is uh this is the Java version of Minecraft. You need to be running the same Java client version as the server version. Otherwise, they won't connect. You'll have problems. So uh, this is uh, this is version one point fourteen point four of the client, same version as the server is. Uh, and then we're going to go to multiplayer, and uh, it says, "Do you want to allow access?" Go allow again on this. And we're going to go direct connect. And we're going to type in localhost right here. And localhost will connect uh, to the server because it's the actual localhost. We're, we're connecting to test it right now. So I'm connecting from the same computer that I have it running on. So the first thing I'm going to do is join this just to see if it's working. And it's joining the world. And as you can see, we're here in Minecraft. So that's really cool, but if you're on a different computer, you can't use localhost because it will look for the server on that computer and it won't be on that computer, it's on this computer. So what do we do? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, let's disconnect from here and uh, let me move this out of the way. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna type CMD, uh, which is, uh, brings a command prompt. So it's just command prompt up here. We're gonna click on this. And we're going to type the word ipconfig, all one word, and we're going to hit enter, and it gives us a bunch of stuff here. Right here, and we can scroll up and down. Right here, there's a line that says ipv4, which is version 4 address. This is the local address of our computer on the local area network. You'll probably have an address similar to this, 192.168. This right here could be zero, it could be one, it could be a few different things. Uh, but you need to copy the entire number. But the main number is this number on the end. Because each of your machines will start with these three numbers, or whatever three numbers your network is. And the fourth one will be the unique machine number. So it's 13. So we need to just remember that. And then uh, let's, uh, let's grab our Minecraft again here. And drag it back over here. All right, we're going to go direct connect, and we're going to put 192.168.0.13. Now, this number can change on your machine. It usually stays, uh, if you have your machine on all the time, it generally stays. But if you turn your machine on and off, it can, it can, the number can change. So you have to, uh, after you start up your server or before you start up your server, you, you'll need to use the IP config to check the number. It's select, select the phone number for your computer. So if we hit join using this, once again we join. Now, with that, uh, with that address, we can connect from any other computer that's on our home network. And, and so that's basically how you set it up. But let me show you one more thing before we go. Uh, we're going to go into uh, control panel. You can also reach this through settings. We're going to go to Windows uh, Defender Firewall. If you go through settings, uh, it will bring this up, uh, I believe, under security and updates. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced settings here. And I'm going to go to inbound rules. Those are the rules to let things to attach to this. And if we scroll down here, you'll see all these different Java things here. And it says allow. 
And the reason it says allow is when you started the thing up and it asked you, do you want us to allow it? We said allow. And uh, so that actually sets up the firewall automatically so it will work within your home network. And, and so that's all you really need to do. So, uh, and then you'll have, uh, let's go back to the game here. Then you'll have your, oh, that's cool. It has a ice world over there. So this is a, this world is actually running on a server on this machine and we can connect to it from other machines. So that's, that's how you set up a, uh, a, a Minecraft server using the Java edition of Minecraft server on your home network. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft, and enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.